What's up? I'm Kamal. I'm here with Spindle, and these are my quick fire questions. I search for the meaning of life. If you could sing a duet with any artist, who would it be and why? A bee. I would sing a duet with a bee. Why? Because I want to make friends with it. Because I, when I was small, I got swarmed by bees and I got stung up a lot. And I've been really meaning to make amends and bridge that, that uh, bitter rivalry that I've had since then. It's not true, but <laughs> this is what came out. <laughs> but it would be really be cool to do a duet with bees or anything that's like not human. I feel like what I could learn from people that's like great in things that I don't know. But I think the like the area that's like your ignorance, like the larger there is like an area of ignorance that you have that the other person has knowledge in, like the greater the collaboration. But what greater area of ignorance would be from another species, you know? Because we we're not even the same species, you know? But anyway. <laughs> All right. How is the Kamal Cassette Mixed Greens different from your previous releases? It's much shorter, one. Two, I think it's a little bit more uh, refined in the, the rapping. It's much more refined in the rapping and in the singing. I think in Bamboo, I rap better than I rapped before when it comes to wordplay and delivery. Um, and with the other songs, my singing, I sing a bit harder and a bit more confidently. I think every project I sing more confidently, but yeah. Better and shorter. All right, what we got? How many more installments uh, will there be in the Kamal Cassette series? Um, 400, 300, and 8,800, 100, 100, 1,000, 100, million, and five, 0.3. What makes up your sound? My voice. Out of the four tracks of the Kamal Cassette, mixed screens, which was the most fun to create? Hmm. I'm gonna say Bamboo. Bamboo because uh, my DJ and one of my best friends and brother, DJ Dash Moon, created the whole beat already and then we ended up only making, the, we ended up taking one small part of the beat which was like a bridge, which was my favorite part. And I was like, can we just make this the whole song? And he was like, all right. And we remade the whole song. So I think it was cool. They all were fun, but that one was cool and interesting because I think it had the most unexpected and unorthodox creation as in it was done and then we found a little piece that we liked and we redid it. I'm really enjoying doing that. What was your reaction to Just For You being featured in HBO's Insecure? Actually, my reaction was, oh snap, for real? Because my sister called me and said, your, show, your song's on Insecure. I was like, word? And that was it. And I was really grateful and happy. Grateful and happy. Grappy. Um, what are your top five lyricists of all time? What are your top five lyricists of all time? Okay, people gonna be like, what? No, yo, yo. But you know, I'm my favorite. I'm not gonna say top five as in the best because it's kind of subjective. At some point, people just get too good. Um, but the five that have influenced me the most. Um, are first, uh, I'm just gonna say as a whole, Arrested Development. Cause they're like the first rappers that I really, really listened to. I didn't even know they were rap. I was like, this is great music. Arrested Development. And then Heavy D. Heavy D was the first rapper I listened to really knowing that, okay, I'm listening to a rapper. You know, I got nothing but love for you, baby. Right? He was amazing. He is, was, still here. Um, Heavy D, Arrested Development, uh, and then you had Tupac had a huge effect on me, his ability to tell stories. He didn't have like the craziest wordplay, but he had a charismatic way of talking in a way that would just lure uh, listeners in, a, in, uh, in methods that were very, very comprehensible and, and riveting at the same time. Tupac, uh, damn, 
It's hard to pick between these next ones. Lauren Hill, The Mystery of Iniquity is one of the greatest pieces of literature of all time, written or spoken, including religious texts. The Mystery of Iniquity should be studied in colleges. Lauren Hill. Why? I'm going to say Yasin Fiasco or Lupe Bay, because I can't choose. Yasin Bay and within Black Star and Lupe Fiasco, um, huge effect and, oh, on, on me as an artist. Lupe Fiasco um, was actually the catalyst of me combining poetry and rap together. Because initially I would rap this other identity, which wasn't me, and in poetry I would be really me. And after listening to Lupe, I kind of merged the two. Sorry, I didn't say that quicker. Okay. Um, when did you realize that you wanted to pursue music? I didn't. Um, I kind of just, I just didn't realize that I didn't want to. It kind of was that way. When I was a baby, my mother was singing and I was in the womb and I probably fell in love with it sometime around that time. Anyway, um, what's your go-to karaoke song? I don't do karaoke. Makes me very nervous. Um, yeah, I feel like I gotta perform, right? I gotta, I gotta be, and then everybody there is like, -ha -ha, and they're all free, and I'm like, it must be perfect. It's nerve wracking, I don't do it. Don't invite me, because I won't come. Um, what inspired the visual for the song Bamboo? For the song Bamboo. Uh, the song Bamboo, um, I just wanted to make something that, that, that felt like the song sounds. You know? Oh, Lottie, pocketed in like ball money. I done gone Bobby and built me a bank, can't nobody. And body, body, I'm body, body, top body, the whole lobby. And I don't need a ghost to write to my mind on fire like ghost riding. And if I go ghost, that's more fire on deck like roast pirates. I